What's happening everybody? It's your boy B back with another one and today we're putting together the Steve Caballero reissue Dragon Bats. So got the silver one. It's the one that was available. All right before we assemble this skateboard I want to take you through some of the parts that I have here. Of course I got some tools set aside over here. Those are going to come into play. I have the deck, Pal Peralta, you saw that. I have Ripper Grip Tape, very famous artwork. Also have uh, Mini Logo Trucks, 8.75. These are the same ones I put on my Anderson board. I'm gonna put those on the Cavalero board. I got Bones, G-Bones uh, wheels. These are 64 millimeter. I think that's the only size G-Bones comes in. They're 97A. So I'm looking forward to riding those. Got them in black. Mini Lego bearings. I got Shorty's Dukes riser pads. These are half inch. And then I got some Modus hardware. These are inch and a half with the bolts. Now, also got some rib bones, some slide rails, and I got a tailbone to go on the back. So that's why we have all the extra tools. So before we put this together, I want to measure some things out and cut the grip tape the way I'm going to lay it out. And uh, that's going to take just a few minutes. So I'll catch you when I'm done with that. All right. So I went and found a plate that's about the size of this grip tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut and I'll make an outline that follows that plate. So the ripper will fit right up over that Powell Peralta graphic on the deck. So I'm going to trace that, make a line, cut it, and then we'll see where we're at. Made my outline. It looks good to me. I don't know if you can even see that. There's an outline on there. I'm gonna cut it with a razor blade, and uh, then we'll try to stick it on. All right, got it cut. So as you see, it's cut out, and it's gonna lay down like so. And then the rest of it, what's left, cut that. Um, it's gonna go straight across like that. It's the best way it can fit. I could round it, but uh, so I'm just gonna leave it straight. So let's do this grip tape. Probably the easiest grip tape job is this little square you'll ever do. <laughs> part down, the harder part to go. You got any Steve Cavallero fans out there? The original, part of the original Bones Brigade.
trusted razor blade. so satisfying when you can do a cut all the way oh well sometimes these shape boards are a little harder to cut and you just do the best you can I have to unstick the side put that back up Except for my mess ups. That's not going to affect the skating of it one bit. Make sure this is down flat. Little pig fragments. Not too shabby though. Not too shabby at all. Of course, then you want to take a little bit of grip tape. I like sticking it to my finger with the sticky side and then just going around, sand that edge off. I'm not going to sand right here in the middle because I'll take off the paint, but there it is. Trying out my Andy Anderson deck. Spitfire wheels, very first time. See how it goes. This thing is huge. to the tailbone and have the instructions here I've never put one of these on so I have what I need it says that the package contains a tailbone number eight screws it says you need a drill to have that a 732nd drill bit to have that Phillips screwdriver clamps and nail I have two nails, I have the clamps. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna line this tailbone up on the tail. This is an eight inch tailbone, so plenty of space for it to go on here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up, place the clamps on, and then tap a nail in each spot. And I'm going to remove all that, drill through the deck. Okay? So, let's get that done. Alright, I got both clamps on there. It's not like gonna hold it securely. So what I'm gonna do is just place the nails there, make marks. The clamps are just there to hold it in the place. Alright, I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can hammer this with this little hammer I found. Isn't that the coolest little thing? It's actually got some parts if you unscrew this the little screwdriver i'm guessing it used to have other bits with it but there's only a flat bit with it and be careful it'll move on you this one will hold that screw in the place. Nail. Alright. So that should make the marks that I need. Take the clamps off. Take the nail out. So now I have three holes. Three little marks where I'm going to drill through the deck. And that uh, this feels weird to be drilling through the deck, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. This is an extra piece. Here we go. very slow if you have a drill that's variable speed put it on the slowest setting and uh you don't want to don't want to mess it up you just want to take it nice and slow one hole's done on that one but got used to it all right see no problem on the back side or the top side all right now that the holes are drilled it says to insert the screws through the top side. So I'm going to take those out. All right, putting in the final screw. And then what will happen, we'll line it up on this side and just screw it into the holes until it's nice and snug and secure. I think I'll start with the middle. Okay. Line up the 
the sides. And this one should go right on. Let me uh, get positioned right here. Installing a tailbone is really a piece of cake. There's really nothing to it. It's just that quick, that simple. Now, when it comes time for the rails, it takes a little bit longer, but it's mainly just lining it up, screwing each screw in, just take some time and a little bit of patience. All right, up next, we are going to put the trucks on. Go ahead and poke out these holes where the paint covered over. All right, while I'm at that, I'm going to find the holes right in the center of his eyes. I mean, right between his eyes. On the bottom side, got one, two, three, four. All right. Let's see what I have here. For hardware, I have this Modus, which I'm not really familiar with. It might be, but I have a nice, lovely Modus sticker. Is it modus or is it modus? I think it's modus, but that could be wrong. Allen key has black bolts. Also came with two blue bolts in case you wanted to mark your front or your back. Now again, with a shaped deck like this, it's obvious which way is the front. Where the nose is, where the tail is, and uh, so we don't have to worry about that. But I may still use those, so let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so it comes with eight black bolts, or you can use um, a blue bolt or two, wherever you choose. So nice options to have. Sawdust. I think I'm just going to use the black bolts because um, it'll be right in the black part of the grip tape. Let's see here. So I got to find the hole again. One. Two, three, four. I don't know. I might use the blue bolt at the top. We'll see. I have to decide on that. Could put them in the back. Where's my bolt holes? All right, got the holes poked out. Now it's a matter of putting the bolts in. Ready for a truck. Let me get this nail. All right. Again, 
mini logo, 8.75. And uh, we're gonna install this on the back. Oh, before we do that, riser pads. We got Dukes, half inch, made by Shorties. The sticker inside says, watch out for wheel bite. Watch out for wheel bite. Okay. Now it's a matter of lining up the riser pad and installing the truck. Okay. So you know which way we want to go. And since this is a reissue board, it's using, not all reissues do, does this, but Palperata, the reissue, they use the old measurements for the holes. So, nice thing about these trucks from Mini Logo, they account for that and they have drilled six holes for you. Uh, one set for modern length, and one set for old school. Put the nuts on. Tell you what, these uh, these half inch risers, this big deck. I'm gonna feel like I'm riding on a monster truck. Not used to being so high off the ground. If you ride an old school deck, a reissue, um, throwback to the 80s, maybe even earlier, could be the early 90s, leave it in the comment section below. If you made your own skateboard growing up, using plywood or two by fours and roller skates, leave it in the comments below. All right, I'm gonna put in, all, I'm gonna put, before I tighten all that, I'm gonna put the other bolts in. Again, should I go with blue? Should I? Or just leave it black? it all even. All right, got those bolts in. Time for the nose truck. coming together get those threads started this is the first time I've used the uh, modus um, what's your favorite hardware what company what colors what style your favorite tip I'd like to know even the comments below all right we got this started now I'm gonna try take my uh, skate tool and take this blue and black Allen key I'm gonna put trucks on tightly. Gotta figure out what I'm doing here. Oh. 
little deer. Just want to get it nice and snug. Not too crazy with it. You don't want a bolt just going straight through the deck. Then where you left stripped out the hole. All right, let's move to the back. Discovered a, um, a new skater. Well, he's uh, he may not be new, but he's new to me. His name is Eddie Kernicki. I think that's how you say his name. But just does some just bold things. You know, he has no fear. Uh, so uh, he rides for Crooked. I think he does still. And um, I enjoyed watching some of his clips. What's your favorite uh, clips that you've seen lately? Who's your favorite riders at this time? Leave it in the comments below. All right, that looks good to me. Bushing seam really loose, but supposedly you're supposed to break into bushings, and as you do that, it actually hardens. And so you don't want to start out by over tightening the trucks because you can crack your bushings. And then uh, where are you left with? But this one just seems like super loose. Like this one's not doing that, and it looks like the threads are still the same. So I'm not sure. Like it's just got some wiggle room, so I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. Just so it's not wiggling quite so much. May have to just replace the bushings at some point. Okay. Tidy up a little bit, we'll be right back. All right, what are we gonna do next? I think we'll do the wheels and the bearings. These are Powell Peralta G-Bone 64 millimeter. These are in black, 97A. G-Bones only comes in one size. And I decided to go with these simply because I thought they looked nice. They kind of fit the theme. Pal Peralta, and uh, I could get them, so that's what I went with. Bearings, mini logo, trying these out, hope they're good, I've read good things about them, good reviews. Mini logo militant about skateboarding it's a good motto all right so we've got our bearings get that out of the way all right so first things first easy way to put on bearings and wheels just place two bearings on your axle and what you're going to do take your wheel the side that's going to face out, put that on first, press down, looks like it didn't go all the way, so we'll try that again. You get some leverage over here.
think those are in there. Turn this back around so you can see. Then you take the inside, place that down on bearing. It's in there. Take your speed ring, which there's already a speed ring here. You know, make sure you have that on there. Place the speed ring on top and then put on your nut. Okay, I'll tighten that in just a second. I'm gonna get this one on, take two bearings, drop them into place. Outside. Hello? inside. Make sure that goes on there. Yep. Place your speed ring. Your nut. Now, one thing I neglected to order, and that was the spacers. So, I went back and I now have two sets on the way. I have one set for this board I have one set for my Andy Anderson board. I tried to think of everything, but obviously I didn't. Bearing spacers, in my mind, are very important. So I'm just gonna make do until they come in. And then I'll just slip them in there and put the bearing back on, tighten the wheel back. They're spinning. Let's try the other side. Two bearings. Oh, gotta take these nuts off. Take one speed ring off. Drop a couple bearings on. Drop a couple more on the other side. Take the outside. Good. Inside. Always visually inspect it just to make sure nothing crazy is happening. Put your speed ring on. Thread your nut and rinse and repeat. <laughs> Speed ring grabbed onto that one. We're going to tighten these. Don't want to over tighten them. Last thing is going to be these rails. Now I went with the yellow, the Cavalero, thinking it would sort of match the dragon because he's yellow. However, this is more like a neon yellow or very bright yellow. So I'm just going to go with it. It's okay. Hmm. How do these guys do that? Look at that. you can actually bend so I may actually follow the curve 
take a moment to line these up and I'll be back with you. All right, I've kind of thought about what I want to do. Um, I actually looked into using the rat's nuts or the sex bolts, um, but I didn't want to run into any issues with these modern rails and just having to drill out different kind of holes. And anyway, I'm gonna use the wood screws that it came with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil and make a mark. This is simply, so I'll know where the edge of the truck is. And I want to avoid wheel bites if possible. Mm -hmm. You do not want your wheels hitting your trucks. <laughs> you don't want your wheels hitting your rails. That would be quite some wheel bite there. It'll throw you off the board for sure. All right, so got that there. I'm going to slightly curve these. I'm going to put one end on first. Start on one side, work my way down. I guess I should start on this side. I want to curve around the C and the O on each side because that forms the bat wings. So I'm going to start on that edge and follow it along on that edge. All right, that's just going to hold it in place. get the next one set. It's tedious. It takes some patience, but hopefully it's all worth it. Try to get an equal distance on the outside. Again, I'm not going for perfection, although that would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay. Now, the trick is to line the other one up as close as possible to this one. And we'll just see how we can do it. So we're going to make our lines like we did on this other side, just so we know how to avoid those wheels if possible, and we certainly want to do that. Just got to find my starting point. Do some bending. I'm gonna bend around the O. Try to get that on there good. About even with the other one. All right. Next. 
than I do like I did on the other side. Try to match distance. thing about this the uh, font that Powell Peralta is written in is the animal chin font it's one of my favorite videos search for animal chin all right just like I did with the Anderson board I'm gonna take all these screws back out sand down the holes and then replace it so that'll take just a, a few minutes Be watching this video and you're thinking why is he putting the screw in and take it out because I want to sand the holes so that when I screw them back down flush it'll be nice and tight and not sticking out because when you put these wood screws in the deck little bits of wood stick up where it pulls it where it's going in so if you remove that you have a much, much better shot of getting this thing flat. And you do want it flat, you want it tight. You don't want to strip the screws out, but you want it tight. You don't want all, all kinds of rattles and you have to find some grip tape scraps and uh, all you need is a little piece and just kind of sand out that little hole. All right, got a scrap of the ripper grip tape. I'm just going to Sand down these little holes here. Just remove these little bits of wood. flat and now it's just a matter of lining up the holes lining the screws up in the holes and attaching it all the way so here we go let's do that One of these ratcheting screwdrivers and the uh, gear keeps slipping back into the I don't know if it's neutral but anyway it's tight and tight where you can turn both ways and I don't know why it keeps jumping but just gonna visually check make sure we're snug that looks good to me no sides now put this one on Visually checking, it looks snug and tight. Let's give it one more test. I've actually heard of, um, saw a comment on another video. Someone takes a little bit of, you know, just a tiny line of shoe goo and putting it under the rail. And that keeps it from loosening for one thing, but it keeps, keeps it from rattling. And apparently that's an, an issue that happens sometimes. All right, well, got the rails on. I think it looks nice. 
What do you think? Tell me what you think about it. Leave it in the comments below. Steve Cavallero reissue deck. The uh, dragon with the bats. Got G bones. Got the Ripper grip tape. I can't wait to ride this. Um, you know, I'm I'm still fairly new at the skateboarding game, so I've been riding for three months now, regular. Um, I took 20 years off. I skated a little bit when I was a teenager, a little bit in high school, even less in college. But my daughter got into it, uh, just started riding her skateboard and gotten interested in skateboarding. And so I was like, hey, I need to get back into it as well. And so I looked up a complete, I did some research, uh, went with a stoked ride shop complete. And I'm still riding that three months later. It's got a fairly bad razor tail now, but the deck is still in great shape. I haven't seen any pressure cracks or anything like that. Uh, grip tape is fine. The wheels are fine. They're just blank wheels. I started with uh, 53s. Um, and I'm sure a little bit's worn down, but they're still fairly good size after three months. And uh, I can't do many tricks. You, that'll be evident from my skating. But I am uh, I'm loving it. I'm just having fun. Something I get to do with my kids, not just my oldest daughter, my other two kids, they ride too. And uh, I'm just having a blast. I'm enjoying life and enjoying life on a skateboard. Hoping to not get injured too bad. Hoping not to break any bones, because whatever. I do have safety gear. I do wear pads most of the time. I wear a helmet all the time. And so uh, I recommend that as well. Now, one more surprise before you go. And uh, let me just show that to you here. This is going to be my first ride on the Powell Peralta Steve Caballero reissue deck. It's got G bones on it. Thank <laughs> you.